Hi everyone, it's Nicole here for the Newton's Nook Deck the Halls with Inky Paws blog hop. And I have used the Flaky Family stamp set and I have combined that with a new Shake It Up shaker shaped die from Simon Says Stamp for their Dicember event. This is the TV shaker die which creates this really cute TV shaker and I thought it would be fun to put the little family of snowmen from the Newton's Nook Flaky family stamp set inside the television set. So what I'm doing first is die cutting the TV elements from the TV shaker die collection. I die cut the main part or the frame of the TV from some slate gray cardstock and then I have die cut some of the smaller pieces from black cardstock and then the TV antenna or the rabbit ears and the little dial from some silver foil paper from die cuts with a view. Very basic type colors here for my TV. So here is the size of the TV. It is fairly good sized. It's about two and a half by three and three quarters inches, I believe. A little bit taller if you want to take into account the TV antenna there. So those are my basic elements for the TV. Now I've also die cut some Simon Says Stamp fall gray cardstock using the In Stitches stitched rectangle largest die from that collection. And I have trimmed down a piece of white cardstock to approximately two and a half inches by three and almost three quarters inches. And then I used my TV frame to draw that little square. That is just giving me a guide to know where to stamp my snowman family. And I just used a pencil to trace that so that I can erase it here in a little bit. Now the reason I kind of traced around the tops of the heads of the snowman as well is not only is this a shaker card with a fun shaker aspect, but this is a card where I'm demonstrating how to do some masking. So instead of fussy cutting all of these detailed images out, I decided I would rather mask them off and stamp them and that way I could just color the image as one nice smooth stamped image. So I stamped the hat first for the middle snowman and then stamped it again on some masking paper, cut that out, and layered it over the, the hat that I stamped there in the center. You always want to start with the image that's going to be on the front and work your way back with your masks. So I did that and then I went ahead and stamped the hat for the snowman on the right side of the card and I made a mask for him. I stamped that snowman, the smallest snowman in the middle and he needs a mask as well so I'll stamp and cut him out of some masking paper as well. You could use post-it notes, those would work too. This is just some nice eclipse masking paper. Then I will stamp my snowman over on the right. I will stamp the hat for the last little snow woman there that'll go on the left, create a mask for her, and then stamp her. Now, once I remove all of these masks, I have a single image to color, which I absolutely love. And really, that's created with minimal effort. It's much easier than trying to cut all of those little pieces out and put them together on my card. Now I'm ready to start coloring and I'm using some Copic markers. I'm using a little R20 for the cheeks on the snowman. Went ahead and stamped the cute little buttons. And then I stamped the arms for the snowman using some Sparrow ink from Simon Says Stamp. I was careful when using my Copic colors but probably should have waited to 
stamp those until after I had um, colored in the images with the Copic markers just because the alcohol ink could make that ink bleed because that's not really a recommended ink for Copic coloring. However, because this was a pretty light coloring, I'm coloring something that I want to look white, which is the snowman. I was just careful to kind of avoid or go around those snowman arms instead of coloring over them, if that makes sense. I am using some cool gray Copic markers just to add some depth and dimension and a little bit of shading, not a ton of color. And the cool grays work well for this. Warm grays work well, um, any of the grays that you wanna use. I switch back and forth with what I'm using a lot of times based on the other colors that I'm using in my card design. Where I'm going to be using a lot of more cool tone of markers, I chose to go with the cool gray for my quote unquote white areas on my card. Now I'm gonna add some orange noses with a couple of YR markers and once I start coloring in the hats, I think the image comes to life. They, they're kind of blah up until this point, and then once you start coloring in those colorful hats, they start to really show some personality. I chose to go with some kind of limey greens and mint or aqua colors and then pinks for the hats here instead of maybe more traditional Christmas colors. I did add a little bit of red and green a little bit later on, on my card, but for the hats I kind of st stuck to these cool tone colors. And I kept to about two shades per color to keep the, the coloring and shading fairly simple. Blend out that pink there a little bit. You can go back over it if you want to build up the color. Build up the green a little bit more there. I did go with about three colors of green to help build it up and make it a little bit darker. And then I will color in his last hat here using a, the light mint colors for some of the little stripe there around the brim of the hat. And then I decided I didn't want to go with either the lime or the pink on this hat. I wanted to mix it up a little bit, but not go, not really introduce any different colors. And so I chose a couple of darker teal or colors in that same aqua teal color family and did a little bit darker portion on that main, the main piece of the hat. And then I took the green markers to color in the rest of the stripe. So kind of a, a fun little different way to do his hat. Once I have the hat all colored in, I'm going to take a black gel pen. This is one of my favorite black gel pens. And color in the buttons and the eyes just to give them a little bit more de definition. And then I added some buttons to the middle snowman there. I love that this stamp set has so many accessory type stamp images with there's lots of different hats, more than just the three of these here. There's the snowman arms, there's the little heart that I stamped on the girl, there's the buttons, there's a scarf, there's a snow puppy and a snow kitty, just lots of great ways to customize the stamps to make your own little snow family. I just think they're adorable. I'm using B91 to color in the sky, and this really makes the snow family pop. I left some white along the bottom of the card so that that is snow. This is going to be a shaker card, so that will be covered up with the shaker material, but when the recipient shakes the card, you will see that white down below, and I didn't want um, the recipient to see blue sky underneath the snowman. I'm taking the colorless blender now and 
using it to create snow in the background of the card. The colorless blender is going to make the ink that you've laid down previously wick away. Now I'm not only creating those dots on t or in the background, but I'm doing that on top of any of the colored portions of the snowman so that it looks like the snow is falling not only in the background, but um, that they're standing in the snow and it's not just snowing behind them, I guess is what I want to say. I'll finish with a little additional shading here and there, but the coloring portion of the image is just about complete and I'm ready to put together the shaker. I've trimmed a piece of acetate the same size as my colored and stamped background and I'll back the TV frame with that. Then I'll take my foam adhesive and build it up on all four sides. I want to make sure that it's right up next to each other all on all four sides so that the beads or the shaker, whatever shaker materi material you might be using, doesn't shake out. I am using two layers of foam tape. This is fairly thin foam tape. If you have a thicker foam tape, you wouldn't have to do this. And I'm cutting it into about thirds. It's pretty narrow around the outside edges of this shaker, so I want to make sure that the foam adhesive doesn't show when I place my TV frame over my little snow family. Now once I have that in place I can go ahead and sprinkle in my seed beads. I'm using some white and clear. I'll pull off all of that backing material and take my stamped and colored background to my shaker. Flip that over and I have a darling little shaker. I'll go ahead and put together the rest of my TV with these pieces that create the dial for the TV. I'll use a little liquid adhesive for that small piece and I adhered the silver foil on top of the black one just to build it up a little bit and a little bit of the glue seeped out from underneath so I used a paintbrush to remove a little bit of that. For the greeting I'm stamping two phrases from the flaky family stamp set. I stamped the large one first and then the smaller one right on top. Once I have that stamped, I took the ornaments border from the Holiday Wishes Newton's Nook stamp set and stamp that with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink along the top of the card. That kind of helps even out the design where the TV portion is, it makes it look so heavy along the bottom. So I wanted to kind of balance out the card design and I went ahead and colored in these ornaments with Copic markers. And for the white portions on the ornaments, I used the white gel pen from Sakura and then a silver wink of Stella glitter pin for the tops of the ornaments. And at first I, was, I wasn't sure I was going to like this or it was going to work, but as I got more of the ornaments colored, I really, really liked how it looked. I took the Stardust Sakura marker and created little dots of clear glitter on that ornament and in real life it is really pretty. I love how it looks. And I decided to stick with that color theme and just did all of the round ornaments red and white and the two longer ones, the more finial type ones, green. And that really rounded out the whole card design. I love how that looked. Go ahead and color those in with white again and then I'll color in that last ornament green just like I did the other one. Very easy. Only about two colors again per or two shades per color. Add the little glitter dots. Now my stamp didn't stamp quite all the way so I just took a black pen and filled that in. And then for the antenna for the TV I'll take the zig glue pen and glue those in space in place rather and I did add a tiny bit of shading around my ornaments with some cool gray markers not a ton just a tiny little bit to really make them coordinate with the rest of the coloring in the design got a little aggressive there with a the gray so I took my colorless blender to blend that out I will glue my shaker in place add those the TV antenna like I was saying 
and this card is all finished. I'll place that on a white card base and a really fun shaped shaker card is ready to be sent out in the mail. I hope you've enjoyed this video showcasing the Newton's Nook Designs stamps as well as the Simon Says Stamp shaped shaker cards from the Shake It Up release. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.